Good morning from Fantasialand here in Germany, where it's day three of our European road trip. It is so good to be back at this park. Oh, it is. The sun's shining on day three of our road trip. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back on Fly, Taran, and so much more. I tell you what though, Charlotte, Fly is now over a year I old. I know, it's crazy. I can't believe it. Like, I was down here. I always remember Charlotte letting me know that it had soft opened. I was like, it's open. I came straight out here for like the second day. And then we came back a week later and stayed at Hotel Charles Lindbergh. Oh, it was so nice. Oh, honestly, but uh, looking forward to seeing Fly, and there's actually been some enhancements to the theming. Not like it needed any, um, but they've done even more theming since last time we were here. I didn't know that. Yeah, in the queue line for Fly, there's some more little uh, Easter eggs and oh, little details. Um, yeah, come and join us here from Fantasyland. Unfortunately, we can't film on ride. However, we'll get lots of footage from around the park. Sun shining, lovely blue skies today. Uh, so perfect for getting lots of footage from around the park. Perfect so, for spring <laughs> roll. Spring rolls, and you know what? Sunshine, perfect for water. To ride. Oh, no. Charlotte's going to be riding on River Quest today, I've everybody. Got the Poncho Red. <laughs> the Poncho Movie Park Germany. Check out that vlog from yesterday if you've not already seen it. But yeah, come and join us. Park hours today. Uh, they actually open from 9 a.m. and it's open until 6, but the rides don't open until 10 o'clock. And here at Fantasyland as well, the ride queue lines do close early, depending on how busy it's going to be. It's a Monday today, so I don't think we're in for a big crowd. No, I don't think so. And also, just to point out, similar to Movie Park Germany, you also need to show either a negative negative COVID test or your vaccination status. We've showed that we're double jabbed and also bring some ID with you as well. And again, show. you need a surgical mask. Yeah, surgical mask. Uh, you can't have any fancy ones. It's got to be, be surgical. A surgical mask. Uh, here we go. Come and join us. The question is, where do we go first? Fly or Taran? it's such a hard one, isn't Honestly, it? Honestly, come and join us back here at Fantasyland. Oh, it's always so nice to be back walking down this wonderful entrance street, the Berlin themed area here at Fantasyland. The music, the details, so immersive, wonderful to be back. Worth pointing out that face coverings, again, don't need to be worn actually walking around the park. It's in queue lines, on attractions, and also indoor spaces. Here's the queue just on the right hand side to head in to the themed area of Rugburg and of course, Fly. And I think we're gonna go in there first. What do you think? Yeah. It is Charlotte's favorite ride here now. It is. Honestly, I still love Taran. However, Fly is also absolutely spectacular. It's a hard choice these days. But you think there's hardly anybody waiting here, so I think it's definitely worth getting in the queue for the area when it opens at 10 o'clock. Gorgeous wave swinger down there at the end as well with all the fountains, beautiful. Oh, here we go then, so it's 9.30. We're about to step back into one of the most beautiful and immersive themed areas anywhere in the world. I absolutely love it in here. And yet you walk through from the Berlin street and just hear all the audio changing that machinery working all the random bits of theming around that fantasy land are so good at and you step out here into rookberg welcome back here we are charlotte oh honestly it sends shivers down my spine look at this just to see this again and be here oh it's a launch number one Woo! looks like we might be getting on it early there's hotel charles Lindbergh over there Crazy, because it doesn't actually feel like five minutes since we stayed there, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, just stepping into this area again. The spectacular fly manufactured by the Coma. Two launches, the only launched flying coaster anywhere in the world. And it's right here in Germany at Fantasyland. Oh, look at the smoke. There we go. Straight up into the queue line. Looks like we might be getting on this early, Charlotte, I think. There we go, yeah, there's some more new details to see down in the queue. So looking forward to this, it's a gorgeous queue line, raised up above the area. You dip in and out of the coaster. Honestly, look at this. It sends shivers down me. Hearing that soundtrack again just makes me so emotional. Honestly, this ride is spectacular. It's a thematic masterpiece, this thing. Oh, gorgeous. And love just walking down this queue line here. Designed so well into the area. Oh, are you ready to ride, Charlotte? Yeah. This is it. Back on fly. Here we go, so here's some of the new theming. Yeah, they actually built some rooms behind the portholes just here. Yeah, look at that. 
little details in there, little models. Spotted so many other new details since last time we were here. It's clear that it wasn't fully finished. Fantasialand just like to keep adding. All these chains down here at the side. That's all new since last time we were here. Yeah, I love how they just keep adding and adding and making the experience even better. Here we go then, opening early this morning. Time to get back on fly. Now, if you are familiar with this ride, you'll know that you actually have to go through airport style security to ride. Hence why there's no POVs of this ride anywhere. The park haven't released anything to keep it a complete mystery. Everything in a locker. So yeah, we'll see you afterwards. Can't even take you up into the station with this one. It's so secretive, but in a way, that really adds to the mystery of this ride. So we'll see you afterwards. Back on fly, one year after opening. with a fantastic ride on fly. Honestly, it was great to get back on that world-class coaster. How was your ride? I absolutely love it. It's such a good ride. Oh, the overall experience, just flying in between the buildings throughout this themed area. It's kind of built on levels, really, with the station being underground. The first launch is fantastic, but that second launch, when especially at the front, oh, yeah. it's incredible. We were sat um, on the second row, weren't we, yes, at the time? So much better down towards the front, isn't it? Because literally, and you get airtime on a flying coaster. It's crazy, it's so weird, but it works so well. <laughs> on a B&M flyer, you do not get airtime, i tell you that. On this, it's got maybe three or four seconds. Oh, oh. Get, get blown away a bit there, love it. And um, the speed of fly. Um, but yeah, like you get airtime on that thing. It's because on that second launch, you push straight out of the tunnel, was. up to the top, and then bank to the left. And honestly, you feel yourself lift out your, well, out your restraint. It's really weird because you're in the flying it's a position. Really weird feeling. Honestly, but that ride is incredible. Is it still one of your favourite coasters? Yes, it's what? my third favourite now. Third favourite behind? So we've got Zandra first. Zandra. Then we've got Ride to Happiness. Yes. And then we've got Flag. It's a top three coaster. It's amazing though, isn't it? When you get to ride more coasters, how things get pushed back. Oh, no. It shows though, when you've done so much, like you shouldn't really compare. So you've got to enjoy everything for what it is, haven't Definitely, you really? Yeah. For me, it's not even a top 10 coaster. Well, it's not my favourite at the park. Taran is where we're heading to next. However, I love this, the themed area, the experience, the steampunk vibes of it, and this overall area is spectacular. It's one of the best coasters um, for an overall experience Gorgeous. out there in the world. Look at it go, honestly. Fly here at Fantasialand. Really good operations. I think you might be running two trains this morning. We got straight on, but I think it's time to head down to the good old intimate blitz now, don't Definitely, you? Yeah. Time for a ride over on my baby, Taron. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Just to hear the sound of that second launch again and be standing back here in the amazing themed area of Klugheim looking at Taran. Oh, I absolutely love this coaster. Look at that beauty. Oh, it looks so good. What you got my hoodie on for? I'm a bit cold. You got a bit chilly, have you? A bit chilly. Oh, here we go. Let's walk around towards the entrance of this absolute beast of a coaster. Mystery Castle just over there, River Quest. Honestly, absolutely love it. Stepping into this area. And just seeing the beast that is Taran, look at this. All the rot work around. Honestly, the design of the rides here and the work that goes into them is absolutely incredible. And you walk down here, you see the Klugheim sign just there. Incredible, hearing the screams down here at Taran. This opened back in 2016. I always remember that opening day coming here to the park and riding on this absolute beast of a coaster. It's a beauty, it really is. It normally rides a lot better later in the day, warms up a lot, Taron. However, no matter when you ride it, it's always spectacular. 
Cannot wait for this. Here we go. Let's go and join the queue. Taryn. Incredible. Well, I'm glad that we went down to fly this morning because it seems like Taron opened late, so it's gathered quite a big queue. It did only say 10 minutes on the entrance board. However, I think that was a bit of an underestimate because look at how busy it is here in the cattle pen queue line. Well worth it though for this spectacular Intamin Blitz. Love it. train ride and that was incredible yeah it was running really well for a morning ride like i said before we went on it normally takes a bit of warming up taras great on the morning still but spectacular when it's been running all day but well, that was flying around the track wasn't it, it? Really was. there's nothing like coming around that corner knowing that you're going into the second launch and just going straight into it and then of course coming up the section of track behind us with the waterfall and you even get a little bit wet don't you on there just a little bit just a little tad uh, but honestly, that coaster is incredible. Riding so good. Some of the best trains in the business on Taran as well. Um, just with the lap bars on there. And they don't really push them down that tight either. No, they don't. It's just like a little check. It's a little check, which is what you want. Safety check. And yeah. off you go. Get out of the station. But something they do really well here at Fantasyland as well, especially on Taran and Fly, the more newer installations here, is the fact that they have like a dispatch soundtrack that adds so much to the ride. Um, like obviously here on Taran, you come out the station, the drums are going, yep. ready for that first launch. But it's the near misses on this ride and how it was designed that really makes it. The area is incredible all the way around it. Uh, the rock work, hashtag rock work, um, and all the themed area of Club Time really is stunning. Oh, there she goes again. Good operations on there. Bit of a bigger queue than we thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, we waited about 45 minutes in yeah, total. Quite a long queue. But it was worth it. Like, it was definitely worth getting on there um, again on Taran. I'm sure we'll be back on there later on. Uh, but anyway, I think we'll go on a war ride, shall we now? No. Straight in. Let's get on Chapas de Wataban. Absolutely love this. Just yeah, around the corner here. Here we go. Let's go around this way and have a ride. Well, we're going to have to wait a little bit for Chapas. It is testing, but it's not open yet. So I thought, oh, we'll go on Talica and Hus Top Spin. Closed. Closed at the moment. Technical problems, it seems like. So we'll come down here to Black Mamba here in deep in Africa. This is running. Just going up the uh, lift hill over there. Fantastic B&M inverted roller coaster. It's a funny day today, weather-wise, isn't it? Because the sun's out. It looks really hot, but it's not. Like, yeah, you feel a bit of heat sometimes, but then every so often really cool and chilly there we go we got people gathering out the front just here well there's people on the ride here we go i think they're just gathering is it open can we go through 25 minute wait for black mambo that'll do let's go join the queue well the key's moving nice and fast for black mamba this is a brilliant ride honestly it's another one that interacts lovely with all the rocks and the terrain that they've created here at Fantasyland. Some great theming around as well. I love the station for this, it's very atmospheric. Yeah, it's moving fast, two trains in service, I reckon. Looking forward to getting back on Black Man Bar? No. <laughs> it's intense, it's isn't it? It's way too intense, this is for me. Oh. There, like... <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but uh, yeah, nice day for it as well. Gorgeous weather so far this trip, we're doing well.
just had our ride over on Black Mambo. We only waited 15 minutes. Very good operations on there. Yeah, really good. I'm not a fan of that one. <laughs> you think it's too intense, it's don't you? It's so intense. It is an intense ride. However, it's not as intense where we were sat on the front row. Like, it was great on the front. No, I've never been on the front before. You really get to see all of the rocks around when you're on there and some brilliant near misses. It's a fantastic B&M coaster. They've got some awesome headline attractions at this park, including one of my all-time favourites, Chapas de Wazaban, that is now open. Woo! That's why the poncho is on. Can't believe she's wearing a movie park Germany poncho, Fantasia line. Hope the management don't see that. I'm going to be very happy with you. I don't think Talikan's on yet though. I've like, not seen or heard anything. No, nothing going on down at Talikan. So hopefully that'll be on uh, later on today. But yeah, Chapas has now opened. I don't think the queue is going to be too bad for Chapas, to be honest. It's a bit chilly. Um, yeah, it is a bit chilly. Like, it might look like a gorgeous day, which it is. The sun is shining. But yeah, it's not the warmest of days today. So ponchos on, hoodies on. We're going on Chapas it was a band hoods up as well here we are then our oh, 10 minute advertised wait for chap ass yeah i thought it wasn't going to be too busy this one here we go making our way down the awesome queue line it's a great ride this is and the soundtrack as well is brilliant absolutely love it i'd wait a long time for this ride i think it's worth it <laughs> the logo on that movie park germany poncho is absolutely massive <laughs> it's huge Looking forward to this, Charlotte, a nice water ride. I hope we don't get wet. Oh, there we go. Look at the drop on that beauty. Chapa, absolutely huge drop. Looking forward to this. comes an awesome splash so and an awesome ride on Chapas de Wazaban we walked straight on as well I absolutely love that water ride how yeah, was it's it really good actually it's so long my poncho was so <laughs> yeah I'm quite wet it is a really fun ride that is it's the soundtrack the disco <laughs> sections are oh, a brilliant ride shame that we can't film on the rides here anymore to take you along but uh, yeah, it's a fantastic ride. You've got the backward section on there as well. And this huge, really steep drop down at the end. Yeah, it's really nice at the moment because, of course, with social distancing, you are getting your own boat on here. Sometimes you're all kind of jammed together. Um, I don't normally mind on rides, but on Chapas, it's nice just to have the space, it's actually. The on Black Mamba, we had a road to ourselves. Yeah, social distancing on Black yeah, Mamba, yeah. We had the road to ourselves. Obviously, on Taran and Fly, they're at full capacity. Yeah. Sat in twos and stuff. yeah. Something that I'm not a big fan of though, I'll show you just down here. They've actually put like a new little bar area, it's only temporary, um, just down here by Chapas. But it's in a really nice like location where I like to stand and take photos. And it just seems like a weird placement for me um, where they've put it. Yeah, you can just see it here on the left hand side, uh, which is really weird for Fantasia Land because they really care about the theme and overall appearance. This just seems really funny, quite fitting how it's actually Corona as well that they're selling here. But yeah, I'm really not sure how I feel about this because you just walk straight into this area 
and see the sign. You can still come to the side here, but it kind of blocks a really nice view. The fact that, you know, this park really care about the appearance, I'm surprised they put that there. It doesn't affect the experience too much. It's just quite surprising when it's a really nice photo opportunity. Uh, but yeah, I love Chapas. It's my favorite water ride anywhere in the world. I absolutely love it to bits. It's long, it's heavily themed, and it's an engineering marvel when you look at it. It's more of a roller coaster uh, than it is a log flume, to be honest. Absolutely crazy. So nice to get back on there. It's a beautiful attraction, it really is. Oh, here we go. So we've done four major rides, haven't we, this morning, under two hours? Not done too bad. Not done too bad at all. A little bit busier than I thought it was going to be for some of the rides. However, it's time for some lunch now. I love coming to Fantasyland because the food is great. Yeah, really nice salty fries, breakfast, and a drink for seven euros twenty. It's a bargain at Alton Towers. It cost me eight pounds just for the breakfast. I know. Like crazy. crazy. Come out here to Germany, have the real thing. But yeah, look at this: seven euros twenty for a meal. Absolute bargain. That's just from down here on the main entrance street in Berlin. Let's tuck into that nice juicy sausage. was absolutely delicious. Really enjoyed that. How was your food? Very good. What are you doing? I'm warming my hands off. What for? Because this ride you like. Here we go. We're going straight on to Matter like Chocolate. Yeah. So have I you been? Win. Oh, well, have you been out there to the Disney parks? I'm being on mid. Way mania, and you'll know exactly what this is. Yeah, really nice interactive ride. Some great theming and screens. Well, there's so much to look at in the queue line. I actually prefer this um, than Toy Story. I think it's a much better ride, in my opinion. Some great oh, theming. Piping bag. Oh, you get a piping bag, and also, can you smell it? Chocolate. Oh, I smell the chocolate. Well, yeah, that food was nice. Honestly, the food's great at this park. So much choice. There's a lot of sit-down restaurants as well. Well, you know me, I like a good quick service so I can keep on riding. I'm saving my spring rolls for tea. Spring rolls for later on. We'll get them in the vlog, don't you worry? Spring rolls. spring rolls for Charlotte. But yeah, this is a great ride. Just down here in the Berlin themed area. I can hear the mice. They're getting in the cakes. There we go. We'll see you when we come off and we'll see. I'm going to win today. That is the plan. Yeah, <laughs> but because we can't. Oh, where are you going? It's a fail. Because I can't film on the ride, it means I've got full dedication to this. So there we go. Oh, we've got a little bit of dancing. It wouldn't be a vlog without Charlotte doing a bit of funky dancing for us all, would it? Oh, we're going around the full extension queue line as well. What? Crazy. But yeah, 10 minute wait, and we will see you when we come off. Oh, look at that. Delicious. <laughs> Charlotte beat me. I'm a winner. Oh, what did he get? I got like 207,000. I got 186,000. So yeah, Charlotte was the clear winner there. I'm a winner. Honestly, you're just really good with your hands on there, aren't I know, you? I'm good. Honestly, you just got to keep like pulling the lever on there, like pull the rope and towards you. But no, it's a really good ride that. Lots of screens in there, of course, because it's an interactive ride. However, it's beautifully themed. It's a really enjoyable attraction. I really like it. And we walk straight on as well. But there's so much going on there throughout the scenes. So much better than Disney's uh, Toy Story version, in my there's opinion. There's so much to look at. It's brilliant. Oh, it's a fantastic attraction. Anyway, we're doing really well for rides. We've done like five rides and we soon got on that one. Yeah, we did. It seems like queues are filtering out for Fly and Tara now as well. It was just like that initial rush. Everybody either goes to one of them two different yeah, attractions. Yeah, people go to. Yeah, definitely. Now, there is a couple of shows on here at this park. We're going to be watching one of them shows today. We're going to be seeing the Ice Show. Ice College, I think it's called. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they've been running that for a couple of years now. Uh, so I'm expecting the show to be the same as it was before. Likewise, with most things here at Fantasyland, we can't film the show. But we're going to watch that. And then we'll uh, keep on riding this afternoon. Right 
then, so we just watched Ice College, haven't we, over in the we Arena have. de Fiesta. Did you enjoy it? It's very good, but it's been the same show for a couple of years now. Yeah, I think because of COVID, they've not changed yeah, it yet. it's still a good show. It is, the skates in there are brilliant. It's really good. Really nice set, pop soundtrack, 30 minute show as well, so it's yeah, well it's worth watching. What we got then in the merch right, shop? I found this. Look at this fly fleece. How nice is that? And look at the back. Oh, and it's actually embroidered as well. I've only got an XXXL. XXL. So I'm going to find out if we've got a small or a medium. Because how much is it? It's quite. It's uh, $39.90. That's not too bad at all. Well, we saw someone in the station wearing one. And I thought, oh, it's a staff jacket. But it's not. Yeah, we've and it's not just that. I've got this new fly t shirt. I love that. Bad. And they've got a fly hat. How much are we talking here so for that's the t-shirt? 1950. So really, to put it in comparison, that's an extra 20 euro. Roughly. Yeah, so much cheaper though than the stuff at Plopsaland as well for Ride yeah, to Happiness. I really like this. I'm just happy though, Charlotte, that finally they've listened to us. They've brought in some more themed merch. Like they need more for Taryn now. I've got my Taryn t-shirt, but there's not loads. You've just got the uh, Rookberg cap just there as well. That's uh, 19.95. Yeah, really nice. And also. Got the little uh, key ring down here, but finally some themed merchandise. Chappas, love that here in the shop. It's too big for you, that is Charlotte. <laughs> but yeah, finally a bit of merch because yeah, they don't really have loads. I mean, you got that Klugheim shirt down there that they've had for a few years, but yeah, they're obsessed with the dragons here, with them being like you know such a big part of the park in a way with the merch. But everything's got the dragons on. And buys a pack of napkins. Yeah, <laughs> pack of napkins, pack everybody. Of napkins. It's like a party set. But now, finally, some good theme merch. And I'm really, yeah, that's really nice. That is. Might have to get that t shirt. Gotta say, no matter when you come to Fantasia Land, the planting always looks wonderful and it really makes a park. You know what I'm like when it comes to themed areas and just the general landscaping of a park? Fantasia Land, get it right. I mean, look at all the hanging baskets in here. So many lovely floral displays and photo opportunities. We thought before we uh, carry on down at the other side of the park, we'll come down here now towards Wingjas, Woozy Town. Like a bit of Woozy Town, don't we, Charlotte? Windjass. Windjass, two Mara spinning coasters, fear and force. I still don't know which one. <laughs> they're both great rides. Yeah, like are. you don't have to pick one. You can enjoy them both for what they are. And you get to this point when you've done so many different theme parks and roller coasters, it's hard to compare things. But then you think, why should you have to compare stuff? You know, just enjoy everything for what it is. Like Charlotte's lovely dancing down here. I am hoping at some point we'll see these other entrances into Rookberg. Worth pointing out that at the moment you can still only go through that main door, but it's literally right behind there. That is the sound barrier for Fly. Yeah, you've got all these other doors. There's another little entrance down here um, in Woozy Town as well. So yeah, I'm hoping that at some point in the future um, you'll be able to just stroll from down here into that part of the park. There's not loads down here because of course you've got the Hollywood Tour boat ride and um, that's now closed. We believe that um, that's going to be the location for something new in the future down there. Uh, a lot of rumours and speculation that that's going to be the next area for developments. You've also got a splash battle down here that is absolutely awful um, because they have so many issues um, with noise here. They're not allowed to even have like, any music around it. It's, uh, yeah, it's not great. It's on a lake just round to the side. Along with that, you've got a little monorail here um, and also a fantastic indoor coaster, Crazy Bats. It did have VR on it. it used to be known as Temple and the Nighthawk. Um, but yeah, it runs with, uh, you, well, it did run with VR on it, of course, because of COVID. Still known as Crazy Bats, um, but it's not got the uh, VR on there now. It's a nice themed area though down here. We head up this way into Woozy Town. We're going to have a ride on Windjass and put in some off-ride footage from these two Mara coasters. But yeah, you head in. Oh, there we go. We've got to go down this way. Got to go this way now. <laughs> She's still dancing along here at Fantasia Land. Everyone's thinking, what's that crazy English lady doing? Just dancing along. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, they've got a very different system running at the moment when it comes to Windjass and Woozy Town. You actually have to queue around this way. I think they're stopping people from waiting inside the building too much. So you queue on the outside just here, around where the old Hollywood on tour boat ride used to be. You can just see the old entrance to that. See a bit of a different system, isn't it, Charlotte? I know, it's very strange. Mm, yeah, because last year we would just walk straight in as yeah, normal. We just I don't know what's going on. Not too sure. We're going in round through the side and yeah. we'll go on uh, Windjar. It says 15 minute wait, so yeah, it does. yeah not see. too bad. We've only been waiting about 10 minutes outside and now they've let us in through a fire door at the side. 
that leads into where you'd normally queue. Yeah, the big indoor cattle pen. So yeah, don't be put off if you are coming here and see the queue outside. It's not because it's really busy, just because they don't want you to wait in this cattle pen. So yeah, fair enough. Oh, we're gonna have a ride and we'll put in some off-ride footage. not an entrance to an attraction <laughs> yeah, that's normally where you go in tell you what that was really good great to get back on it's such a weird ride like the first section's like all normal then you go into the dark section it's just weird it's like on the brake run it kind of drops and then goes forward it's like what's going on it does it drops down on the brake run along with that you got the other trick track section as well where you're on a slant and then it releases it's down so to the side good. Oh, it's a great layout ride. We was actually on force that time. Both of them are fantastic. I'd probably say I do prefer Fear. However, I really enjoy them both, to be I honest. I really like it. Um, yeah, nothing to see here. Like, not, not an entrance. Get that gun. Definitely not an entrance. <laughs> yeah, it's just to stop people kind of waiting in that cattle pen queue line. You can still come inside here and also the other attractions um, that are inside here. There's some kids' rides upstairs. This balloon ride in the middle. They're all still open too. But yeah, it's a great ride that is. Really forceful. And just some of the track sections on there. Feels like they should be banked, doesn't yeah, it? No. And they're not. Like, you just whacked into the side. Brilliant spinning Love coaster. It. One of the best from Mara, in my opinion. Oh, I love the atmosphere in there. It's like a massive conservatory with the roof on it. Brilliant with the two coasters in there. And like I say, you've got some kids rides upstairs as well, if you're coming with the little ones. There's not loads of attractions here for the little ones at Fantasia Land though. Um, quite a lot of family rides, but uh, in terms of small kids attractions, there's not loads. What are we going on now then, Charlotte? Crazy bats. Crazy bats, yeah. The Vacoma indoor coaster, it's absolutely huge, this thing. Still the longest indoor roller coaster in the world, but not for much longer because I believe the new ride at Epcot, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, is going to take that record. So, yeah, look forward to seeing it. But yeah, it's built by Vacoma, three lift hill special. We'll see you when we come off. What was that creepy dance then? It's not quite Halloween yet, Charlotte. However, later on in this trip, things might be getting a bit spooky. Ride then on crazy bats. Oh, it's okay, that is. It's good fun, isn't it? It's a good long ride, that one. Good long one. Get your money's worth, don't you? It just goes on forever. Now, Sean, get them Christmas lights up now. What do you mean, Christmas lights? Get it's them, September. Get them Christmas lights. Hey, here we go. So, they're preparing, ready for Christmas here at Fantasia Land. Lights are going up. Get them up now. There you go. Love it. Yeah, they're all down here on the floor. Literally, when we walked down there, the genie lift wasn't in place. It's early, isn't it? Well, I suppose they've got a lot of work, though, haven't they? Preparation. Yeah, to be honest, they don't normally have lights up in that section there. They're normally like the ones on the building. Yeah, so they're obviously having some new ones for this year. Yeah, it's great here at Christmas. You have to come at some point. Yeah, I'd like to see it. Yeah, Do the a bit of ice skate. winter tram or something like that. That's how you pronounce it. I'm not fully sure. I do try for you though, viewers. I tell you what though, do you fancy going in the fun house? I love the fun house. The fun house, Hotel Tartuff. We can take you inside on this one. It's only a fun house. Yeah, they let us film in there. So yeah, we'll take you inside for a bit of fun house action. Don't miss it if you come into this park. A lot of people seem to miss out on it. It's just on the entrance street here in Berlin. Oh, brilliant slide at the end. It has indeed. You have to take your shoes off though. Yep, carry on. Look at all these lovely floral displays. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love it. I love them bushes just there. How nicely pruned. I love a good pruned bush. That's what you want, don't you really, Charlotte? Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caught you off guard there. This is the other show just over here. Nobis or Nubis. Um, so yeah, we're going to be watching that tomorrow. We're only filming a day one vlog here though from Fantasia Land. Um, not a second day. If we could film on the rise, we would do. But obviously there's no point in repeating the same things. And it's also a small park as well, isn't it? 
Um, yeah, Hotel Tartar just here on the right hand side. But yeah, you can easily miss this attraction. You think it was just like a restaurant or a cafe, gift shop, but no, it is an attraction. And it's just over here on the right. Oh, here we go straight into Hotel Tartar. Are you going to do a full spin round for us? Oh, no full spin round. Here we are, I'm coming in. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Oh, it's such a good fun house this is. There's some good theming here at this park. Absolutely incredible. Even on the smaller attractions, the theming's good. On the bigger rides, it's incredible. Hello. Oh, time for a squash. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> nice little spin round. Woo. Love the fun house. Great in here. Whee. Can you jump onto the other one though, Charlotte? Oh, look at that. Professional. Ooh, oh, getting a bit of a blow. Just over here on the right. <laughs> All these movers well down the carpet. Oh, it's so good. And the music keeps changing as well. Oh, there's my bed. That's where we're sleeping tonight, Charlotte. That's the hotel that I've booked for us. Yeah. Yeah, back tonight. I don't know how you're going to get in the bed. There we go. Through the bathroom. Watch out for the sink. Hey! Oh, having a great day so far here at Pantala Deadline. Great to be back. You can easily do the park in one day, but. Oh! Well, it's always nice to have two days just to do plenty of re rides. Means tomorrow we can just re ride Taron and Fly all day, all day long. Here we go, a bit of a dance. Bum, bum. Shake your booty. Bum, 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 bum. Woo! <laughs> bum, bum. Love it. Hey! One Charlotte, please. Special delivery down the conveyor belt. First class delivery. And here she is. One Charlotte, please. Lovely. <laughs> oh, she's got the mood. Look at this. Honestly. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm disappointed. The plates aren't spinning. Oh no, the trommel's not looking good. There you go. Oh, what a shame. The old trommel. Hopefully you can get this side out. Normally all spins round. The end is working, that's about it. Get your record player out, that's it. Bam, 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 bam. Whoa! Getting dizzy now. Such a long attraction this is right. You're in here for ages. Lost in the labyrinth now. Labyrinth. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there we go. This lady having a smoke just over there. Only in Germany. <laughs> there she is. Hello. She's cleaning the hotel. Where's the exit? Where do we go? Oh. You got a tune for a Charlotte? <laughs> <laughs> Massive keyboard. It's huge. <laughs> What a great attraction this is though. Oh, another mirror. Hello. We're getting close to that slide now. Get your shoes off. Here comes Charlotte down the slide. Shoes in hand. Oh, it's a fast one. Oh, I thought she was going whizzing into the gate then. Honestly, that was thrilling for you. How was that? It's so good. It's so intense that is. I think because you have like leggings on, you get really quick down there. Honestly, like when I've been down in jeans before, I've got stuck. Well, there you go, Hotel Tartar. What a fantastic attraction. Not to be missed if you come in here to Fantasia Line, right here on the Berlin Street. I think next we're going to head round and do some more rides on the other side of the park. I don't know if Talikin's open yet or not. We'll make our way around that way. Colorado Adventure. Go and check that out. Mystery Castle. Oh, and also River Quest. Which is coming up. Shame we won't be able to film on the ride, but we'll be able to see how soaked Charlotte is afterwards. No. With a poncho on. <laughs> Leaving the Berlin themed area then now and making our way up here back through deep in Africa down towards Colorado Adventure nice bit of black mamba there again oh great views of the awesome black mamba oh I did enjoy getting on there earlier on it's a great themed area let's face it though 
most areas here at Fantasia Land are heavily themed and really enjoyable. Something that they have done though over winter since we was last here is completely repaint the facade of Hotel Matamba. Yeah, look at that, it looks very different. Yeah, it's got a few different shades of colors on there now. There's a lot more brown and um, a bit of like orangey color on the side there. Yeah, it looks very different. Um, but yeah, it's been redone. To be honest, I think it looked fine before, but they've done upgrades. I think it looks really nice, but I'm very sad to be honest. Go on. So my favorite cake shop is gone. <laughs> oh. And they're like gourmet cakes now. It used to be down on the main entrance street. Yeah, Lovely cake shop. Really Don't get me wrong, it looks nice what they've yeah, done in there. Nice. Um, but yeah, you're paying more now for like premium cakes. We just wanted a standard slice of chocolate fudge cake. Did, yeah. Oh, shame about that, but it is what it is. Plenty of other great places to get snacks. And you've got to think food and drink here at Fantasia Land is reasonably priced as well. Yeah, we're going to head around this way towards Colorado Adventure. I have got some more sad news. We may as well do it all in one clip for you all. Djembe, the little uh, drum show down here that I know you all like seeing me do, still gone due to COVID. They don't want you banging them bongos still at the moment, which is a shame. I know that this guy over here is really upset about it too. He really wanted me to see uh, me do a bit of, uh, hey, theme bottle wine on YouTube, love it. Uh, he really wanted to see me do a bit of djembe. It has been replaced by a seating area still at the moment, just over here. So I can't create that quality moment. Once COVID is gone, if COVID's gone, we'll do a little drum show there in the future. Right, down to Colorado now. What an absolutely incredible ride. Oh, there it is. One of the best for coma family mine train coasters out there in the world. Colorado Adventure. Fun little fact for you. Used to be Michael Jackson's favorite roller coaster, this one. As he came to ride it. Hey. Used to be known as the Michael Jackson thriller coaster at one point. Anyway, Charlotte over here fancies a tickle. Not a tipple, a tickle. There she is over here on the little drop tower that's called Tickle. Hey. She absolutely loves this. I thought I'd stay off and film her in action. She loves a good uh, kids drop tower, Charlotte does. Sorry, a family ride, family ride, yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love it, but yeah, you got some nice theming around here. Hey! She's loving it. You get some great airtime on these little towers, honestly. They are brilliant. Like, they might not look much, but they are really forceful, quite intense. But yeah, you can still see social distancing measures in place on there. Hey! It was quite weird actually watching the ice show, you know, like going to a, a theater again and having to sit socially distanced. Obviously they're the rules over here at the moment and that's fine, we'll respect that. Uh, but after, you know, going down to London like last week and watching some theater shows, I was in the audience at Frozen in the West End, everybody sat together, like 2,000 people. Seems weird doing all social distancing again. But hey, she is absolutely loving that. Loving life there over on Tickle, love it. Looks like you had a long cycle on there, Charlotte. That's one of the best drop towers I've ever been on. Oh, you absolutely love it. A good little tickle, don't you? Oh, it's brilliant. Tickle, tickle. Right, and here we I've go. And I've just had a nice donut. Oh, a nice donut. Oh, who got you a donut? Come on. You bought me a donut. Oh, honestly, it's so cheap here. Brilliant. Anyway, we're going on the best family mine train in the world then now. Oh, Colorado this is Adventure. sensational. Brilliant ride, this. Honestly, more people need to talk about this. It's absolutely brilliant. So it looks like the queue is walk on as well, straight up into the station. So I'll put you some off ride footage from Colorado Adventure. AKA the Michael Jackson Thriller Coaster. Here we go. So we just had our ride on Colorado Adventure. It's crazy, that is. It's ridiculous, it's that ride. Crazy. I love it. Like, there's hardly any banking on it. I know there isn't. You're like, this yeah. everywhere. <laughs> and then when there is banking, it's like ridiculous, it's the like profiling. Oh, it's an incredible ride, it's that really is. Good. Absolutely love it. What's closed then, Charlotte? Gasta Rica. <laughs> she does not have a clue how to pronounce it, do you? No, it's called. Ga Gasta Rica, something like that. Here we go, the ghost train. Yeah, unfortunately, right, it man. is closed. There you go, it says closed all day. Coming up on the screen for you, there you go. Shame about that. But yeah, there's been a lot of rumors that this might be another area for development in the future. But I don't know, I think it might just be technical issues that, but I'm not yeah, too yeah. sure. Yeah, who knows? Spring rolls can be purchased over Spring here. rolls, that's what you're gonna be having later on. 
But yeah, welcome to the uh, China themed area. Lovely round here, some very nice buildings. But yeah, to get to Colorado Adventure at the moment, um, you actually go around this way to get to it, which is really weird, like with it being, well, it's technically in the Mexican themed area, but it's Wild West. It's very interesting, but you get to it around at the right there anyway. We have very nicely themed around here. Fengju Palace just over there, which is a Vekoma madhouse. Nothing spectacular. In fact, I'd probably say it's the worst one of them out there. It's rubbish. Yeah, it's not great. That's what they need at this part now. World class dark ride. That's what they need. That'd be great to see here. I'd love to see it. <laughs> but yeah, they've actually updated a lot of the queue time boards around the park Talican's as well. Still yeah, Talican shot. Hopefully it'll uh, open. Like I say though, we are here tomorrow. Um, flies busy at 55 though, isn't it? There you go, queues open through until five o'clock. So yeah, it does tell you when they're gonna uh, shut the queue lines. But yeah, you just gotta make sure you plan that into your day if you come in here to Fantasia Lands. Um, but yeah, I love the buildings around here. Absolutely gorgeous in this themed area. You got the other hotel over there as well, Ling Bao. Which is beautiful, like very nice. I've actually got the Dragon Bar at the top as well that's open on an evening that looks out over the park. And yeah, it looks like they're actually uh, putting more Christmas lights up around here as well. It always looks stunning round here for the Christmas event. But you can see all the icicle lights that they've put up there on the buildings, on the pagoda. But yeah, that's kind of like the hotel at the back and one of the restaurants attached to it. Lovely round here. Oh, it's such a nice park. It's so small though. If you come in here, like, don't expect a massive spread out park. Everything's very close to each other. But I know a lot of people that like that. Personally, I do prefer a bigger park normally. However, it kind of makes Fantasyland how it's so small because I don't think that make these awesome creations if the park was as big. No, I don't think I would, to be honest. It forces them to be more creative, doesn't it? More compact. Definitely, and you don't do much walking around at this park. River Quest there, we're not oh, going to do it just nice. yet, um, because it can be an absolute soaker. We've looked at the uh, queue time, it shuts at 5.30, so we've got a bit of time uh, before we do that. Then we're going to head down this way onto Mystery Castle next. Here we go then, walking up the steps here in the queue line. The Mystery Castle. I always say it in the voice, like on the ride, this thing is brilliant. Like, it's such a mysterious ride. Are we going to get a mystery or misery? It's later in the afternoon. Normally, you get a bit of a longer cycle. It's one of them with this ride. It can be a mystery as to how good the ride cycle is going to be. No matter what, though, it's a beautifully themed attraction. This is such a mystery, Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, really nice. I remember the days of them having actors in this queue line as well. Hopefully that will come back at some point in the future after uh, Covid. Oh, there we go. Looks like they're doing a bit of work. Yeah, lovely theming in here. So much anticipation, so much build up for this ride. And a very nice soundtrack as well. Yeah, over the years, seen some awesome jump scares in here. I've always remember my first visit to this park and someone being absolutely terrified in this queue. Yeah, look at this. You just can't see anything, it's just so mysterious. It feels like you're actually in an old building. But yeah, it's a huge indoor drop tower. The reason that it's indoors? Because of the neighbours, yet again. They're always having to battle at this park, whether it's height, sound, of course, the noise created by attractions. But well, like we said, just outside, when we was walking through Chinatown, it makes things a bit more interesting because they have to put the effort in. Well, they could have just built an outdoor drop tower. It would have been like anywhere else in the world, wouldn't it? But yeah, we'll see when we come off. I love this. Don't even think it's 15 minutes, to be honest. We're straight down. Ready for this? Yeah. Mystery Castle. We'll see you when we come off. Right then, so we just come off Mystery Castle, we're straight on, and the good news is we got the long cycle I've there. I've never had the long cycle before. Yeah, it's much better because, of course, you sit down, you actually launch up to the top of the tower. Bear in mind, slow. it's 213 foot tall, 65 meters in there. I know. It's Massive. Crazy. Then you come back down, you think, oh, you're getting off. Like, if it's your first time going on, you think that was the end of the ride. Yeah, you would. Then it shoots you back up to the top, you got all the strobes and flashing lights, then back down, then back up, then back down. Honestly, it's brilliant. It's 
like multiple, multiple drops on there. I really like it. It is a great ride. When you get the long cycle, best doing it on an afternoon. Normally on a morning, you get the short one. Um, yeah, really impressed with that. It was good to get back on it and not had the long cycle for quite a while. No, I've never had it. No, really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, we've done loads, haven't we, today? Considering it started off quite busy, we managed to get quite a bit done. However, there is a ride at this park that doesn't operate if you come at Christmas, that you've just got to do if you come in during the summer main season. And that is River Quest. No. How are you feeling for River Quest? I'm nervous. Well, we're going to go and do it now. It's a shame we can't take you on. Of course, they're very strict when it comes to filming here. Hence why you look at Fly, for example, you know, and you go on that. Poncho's coming out. And you go on Fly. You know, you have to go through a security scanner um, before you can get into the station. They're strict with filming. Um, there used to be more lenient on it, but yeah, the past few years, they've really clamped down on it. So we can't even take you on a rapids. But we'll show you just how wet we are when we come off. This rapids is pretty crazy. Charlotte's got a poncho. I've got nothing. I've just got my top. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get on with this one. Would you like to come on River Quest, Mr. Pigeon? Yeah? Come and join us then. We'll see you on the ride. Well, it's walking off. <laughs> Here we go. 20 minute wait. This gets very busy. Even on the cold days, to be honest, it can get busy. Today, 20 minutes is nothing for this. I've waited over an hour. I think actually, last time we were here, I waited a long time. Because you didn't come on, did you, Charlotte? Well, she's prepared today. She's got a poncho. But yeah, this is so much more than your standard Intamin Rapids. Very different ride to what you'd expect from an Intamin. Like, honestly, this is really different. Yeah, I've waited in all this before. Crazy. But yeah, different manufacturer, completely different layout. You actually go up in some uh, elevators that take you up to the top. Honestly, it's crazy, this thing. A 20 minute queue it was walk on for river quest waiting for riders so we actually ended up with our own boat didn't we, we did. so i was a bit worried thinking oh we might not get that wet on there well we did even though there's only two of us in a nine seater boat i am dripping like look at me yeah <laughs> absolutely so i love that ride it's so random what goes on on there the fact that you go up in an elevator to the top you then go through like a whirlpool and there's a drop at the top of the lift and there's another drop then the one near the end it's absolutely Horrible. It's so mysterious. There's not really any way you can get much off-ride footage either because all of it's at the top of the building. Um, yeah, you've got three drops on there. It's crazy, that thing, isn't it? I need to wring my socks out. Yeah. So <laughs> Even with a poncho on. Like, the top it's, half's all right. It's all gone under. Yeah, it's because the thing is on that, how the boats are designed, is that they can actually like move about individual sections. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, like sliding <laughs> everywhere. Each section can seat three people. Obviously, we were the only two on there that time. Uh, but even if you've got not much weight in the boat, like you're still gonna get soaked on that. Like I am absolutely like dri look at my trousers, the dripping wet through. Me if I didn't have a poncho on. Oh, it would, but you've survived. I did. It's a great ride though. It's not to be missed. Literally, it is dripping out of my hair. The good thing is with that ride though, um, is the fact that it is nice clean water that's yeah, going on here. Nice. Filter water, same with Chapas as well. So the big water rides here, well the only water rides here um, are nice filtered water. Oh, it was great that was. It was disgusting. Oh, I think you loved it really. I don't, I You've hate come it. off lightly in your poncho. I hate it. I don't know what she's going on about, but it's a crazy ride. Uh, it's one of them that you've just got to go on it really because it's so mysterious, especially up the top section when you come out of that elevator. Honestly, what sort of rapids has an elevator in it? It's crazy. Ridiculous, I love it. Here we go then. So it's been closed so far. Well, it's just testing. I'm going to be getting on. Salican, absolutely. Love this awesome ride. It's the audio, the fire, the special effects, the fountains. What a beauty. Look at it. Thank you. 
explosion! Oh, here we go! Intense flat ride, Sean's going on his own. Wow, Charlotte's going on! There we go. I'm so glad that it opened in the end and I'm really pleased that Charlotte actually came on. I'm quite surprised actually. I've never been on the front and I was like, I've got to do it because I'm going to get on the front and we managed to have a front row ride. It's actually really hard to get a front row on there because you can't just wait for it. Even no. if you say, oh, I want to wait for the front, they won't let you because of the weight balance. I've they have to have it balanced. On the front. Oh, honestly, how was it for you? Absolutely rotten. <laughs> it was rotten. Crazy. Because we actually got a five flip special first and then a six flip special. That ride has some work done to it, I tell you. I don't know how to feel about that, to be honest. <laughs> I bet you'll never ride it again. No, because I've done the front now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, that ride is the most famous ride here at the park. They might have rides like Fly and Taron, but that is the one that everybody knows about. Yeah. Uh, you know, like the public just say, oh, that big ride in Germany with fire, Talikan, that is the one. Get out here and experience it it's a fantastic ride and I'm so glad that we got on it today honestly <laughs> let's keep on riding this afternoon here at Fantasyland anyway back here now in the wonderful world of Taron Klugheim well there is another roller coaster down in this area that is well worth going on it's Rake and it's just over here in fact it's just going up the lift hill now we'll see it emerge in just a moment from the theme structure here it comes Rake There we go. So yeah, this is really good. It's a Vekoma family boomerang. Um, it interacts with Tara and all the buildings around here. Oh, talking to Tara. Oh, that was a good interaction. Just going back to RiverQuest again. But yeah, the elevators are actually inside that structure just there. And then you go down the drop at the top and most of the ride is all behind them wooden boards up there. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, should we go for a ride on Rake? Yeah, I like Rake. It's a good one. Could you get your Rake out for me? Yeah. Right. That's it. Get raking along. But yeah, let's go and have a ride. Oh, so we just had a nice ride over on Rake. Straight on as well, which is good. No messing about on there. It was a front row ride. You enjoy Rake? Yeah, it's a good ride, that. It's really nice. Yeah, the interactions are great with Taron and also all the rock work and theming. Yeah, another area that was built on levels. I mean, Fly took that to the next level. Like I say, in terms of a themed area, this and Rookberg are absolutely phenomenal. They really are. Yeah, we're just going on Taron again now. We'll warmed up even more. I mean, it was fantastic earlier, but like I said earlier in the vlog, this coaster gets even better as the day goes on. Advertised wait time of 30 minutes for Taron. But yeah, we're waiting up in the cattle pen where we were earlier. I look forward to this. Such a nice ride. All this hashtag rock work, such good quality. Oh, it's like me and Planet Coaster. Two ways 
30 minutes there for another ride on the absolutely spectacular coaster, Taran. Oh, honestly, it really is a phenomenal ride. If you've still not been on it, get yourselves out here to Fantasialand to come and experience it. It really is an awesome coaster, and it warms up a lot throughout the day. It was riding great earlier, but even better um, towards the end of the day there. When it's been running round, honestly, that thing is crazy. And it's on four trains now as well. Absolutely awesome operations. Well, there we go, Christmas lights going up down here in the China themed area. Loving it, nice and early with the preparations. Love this area of the park, and Charlotte especially loves it because it's home to the one, the only oh. spring rolls. And it's so cheap, like six euros for spring rolls and fries there. Oh, so it's my mind there. Oh, Charlotte loves a good spring roll, don't you? Oh, honestly, look at that. You get a nice portion of them as well. They're incredible. Are they just as good as you remember? Better. Oh, that's always good to hear. Love a good spring roll. But yeah, we've probably got time for one more ride. Don't think we'll make it down to fly because obviously the queue line closed at five o'clock for fly. Uh, I'm not too keen on the staggered closing times. Um, I must admit, I do prefer it when parks just shut everything at the same time. That's the good thing about the Merlin parks back in the UK. Um, yeah, they do just close. Um, you know, they advertise queue time close, which if it's five o'clock, the queue line will close and it means you're gonna get your ride in. Oh, so we've come back down here now into Rugburg. I'm not too sure if Fly is still going to be open or not because it did say the queue was closing at five o'clock and it's now five past five, so I'm not too sure. But we thought we'll come down here again anyway because let's face it, even if you can't get on the ride, the area is just spectacular to walk around. Oh, oh no, there's people heading up the queue line. I think we're still on Charlotte. We're going on Fly. Do it again for a second go. Why not? Spring rolls. Lovely. Oh, it says it's closed on the board. Oh, it literally, it's about to short any second now. Oh, oh happy days because Charlotte got a spring rolls and we get a second ride yeah. on fly. Lovely. Wasn't expecting that. It's eight minutes past five now. I think they're just ready to close it. Yeah, we're probably going to be some of the last people getting in the queue. Like I said, just I'm not a massive fan of that system. However, it is advertised. At least they do put it on the board saying, look, the queue lines will be closing at this set time. You just gotta plan a bit more in advance just so that you're not disappointed. But here we go, we'll put in some more off-ride footage. Here in the absolutely stunning fly. What a spectacular ride. Can't believe it's just over a year old though now. But if you've still not been out here, come and ride it. I know there's so many people that still comment saying, oh, I've not been yet, you know, so get yourself out here. Honestly, it's well worth it. This ride is truly spectacular. Another awesome ride on fly to end our day here at Fantasialand. Honestly, we got a front row on there and it was phenomenal once it again. Really was. It's such a front row ride for me. It is, honestly. Like you ride it then on the front row and you think, God, what is better, that or Taran? Like I can see why it's one of your favourite coasters. Definitely. And your favourite in the park because that ride it just was absolutely brilliant it's on the front so row. Well. Oh it is. You can tell it's only running two trains though on there. The queue is moving a lot slower. Uh, of course normally runs three trains but i tell you what that ride is absolutely spectacular like i said just in the queue line if you've not yet been on it get a trip booked out here to germany and come and experience it but a really good day there, haven't we today it's been a really nice day today oh so nice to get back on loads of different rides and that's the thing at this part you come on a weekday in september you're gonna get loads done we've done so much haven't we yeah, today we've done loads today and you gotta think we've done re-rides on taran and also fly two rides on both along with that really enjoy getting back on river quest oh not river quest mystery castle that was fantastic today i really like that i enjoyed the little drop towers i like colorado adventure oh michael jackson thriller what a ride i tell you what you can see why it was his favorite coast 
fantastic, aren't you? Uh, Chafasti Wazaban, that soundtrack, the audio, everything, the theme in all that so ride. We've had a lovely day. It's been great, and the weather's been nice too. Don't get me wrong, it's not been as warm as it's probably looked on the camera. You're probably thinking, blimey, it was lovely blue sky earlier it's a today. Bit chilly. It has been a little bit chilly. Um, but yeah, we have got a second day here tomorrow. Not going to be doing any filming though, because like I say, um, as you can't film on the rides here, it'd be repetitive, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Um, so we're just going to have a nice day, chill out. We'll watch the other show though um, and see what that's like. And yeah, just generally get some more re rides in, mostly on Taran and Fly. Definitely. Uh, in terms of the next theme park vlog that's going to be coming up, well, we're going to be making our way down to one of our all time favourites, Europa Park. I'm really looking forward to it. Back down to Rust, we're going to be filming a couple of different vlogs down there from the park and also visiting Rulantica. It'll be Charlotte's first yeah, time. I've never been, so it'd be nice to see it. Yeah, it's already been out for a couple of years, Rulantica, and you've still not been. So we're going to be spending the full day in there. They've got the new spa to check out as well and really looking forward to that. So that'll be the next um, few vlogs coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide from our road trip. But it's always great to get back to Fantasyland. Great operations, really nice atmosphere and some of the best theming anywhere in the world. This rolls. park is great. Spring rolls as well. Lovely breakfast, cheap food as well. It's a good value park this. You get some great stuff here. Definitely. Absolutely awesome. But uh, there we go. Thank you very much for joining us for another video here on Theme Park Worldwide. We'll see you down at Europa Park in Rust. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in the next vlog.